This week on Hands on Mac, how to talk to your Macintosh and actually have it listen. Hands on Mac comes to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Mac is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Hello, everybody. Leo Laporte here. Time to get, once again delve into the inner workings of the Macintosh. Mac has a really good voice dictation system. Good enough that, in many cases, I will use it to write instead of typing. And if you want to save your wrists or you just want to get a thought out real quickly, it's very good to know how to turn this on. Let's go to our control panel and turn it on. It's probably on by default, but just in case it's not, I'll show you where you control it. It's in, of course, logically, the keyboard section. It has nothing to do with the keyboard, but there is a tab at the far right that says Dictation. And you can see I've already got my microphone working. That's one way to see. You'll see the voice level moving. You can choose where your microphone is going to come from. Uh, and you can turn it on or off. I'm going to turn it on. And uh, when I enable it... Uh, by the way, there's a whole privacy thing here. I will be able to use a special command to dictate. The default is to press the function key twice. You can use any keystroke you want. Press the right command key, left command key, either key, whatever you want. But I think leaving it as the function key makes sense since that way if I use in a different Mac, it'll, it'll still be that. Uh, so now I've turned it on. And I'm going to go over here to text edit and show you how it works. So I'm in text edit. I can type this is. <laughs> OK, you can see why I don't want to type. I'll press the function key twice. And now my Macintosh is listening to me. And whenever I say something, it's typing. It's also handy to know that there are some special commands that will help you actually start writing. For instance, I can say period, new paragraph, new paragraph, new line. <laughs> and it will ignore me. There's a, whole se <laughs> There's a whole series of commands. Unfortunately, I have to say Apple's not really good at uh, hearing them or whoever it is that's listening. Let's try that again. Oh, now it does it. Actually, you know what? That's great. It did do it. It also stopped the dictation because it only dictates for a short period of time. So you might have to press the function key again. There is a, an entire page on Apple's website of special shortcuts. Let's zoom out and I can show you. Of special shortcuts voice commands that you can use. There's all the obvious punctuation like apostrophe, uh, open a square bracket, a close bracket, open parenthesis, close parenthesis period, dot, full stop. There's even some useful ones. If you can't remember, for instance, how to type the uh, copyright key or a large dot or a hashtag, you can say it out loud. There's new line. You, now, here's a fun one. I'll show you this one real quickly. And let's see if we can get this to work. Let's try, uh, let's try Roman numerals. Function key twice. Roman numeral 12. Copyright sign. Leo Laporte. 2020. A lot of times it doesn't do the final rendering until you hit the function key again. And it doesn't always get everything right. It got the Roman numeral 12 right. It got the copyright sign wrong. It gave me a plus sign. Should we give it another chance? All right. Let's try it one more time. Function key, function key. Copyright sign 2020. New line. Nothing. Copyright sign 2020. New line. Roman numeral 15. <laughs> 
comma, open bracket. This is sort of silly. Close bracket. New paragraph. New line. Copyright signed 2020. All rights reserved. So it's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, you know, and I don't know why it sometimes works well and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it would take some practice. You can even do some some uh, some uh, uh, emoticons. Let's try it. Let's try it. They're not emojis. They're emoticons. So don't don't confuse those. Let me go back to uh, this and try again here. So what is it? Frowny face, smiley face, winky face. So let's try some uh, emoticons. Okay, let's see if this works. Function, function, smiley face, frowny face, winky face, cross-eyed laughing face. <laughs> New line. Cross-eyed laughing face. Cross-eyed laughing face. Um, hmm. Smiley face. Frowny face. Winky face. Cross-eyed laughing face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, maybe it needs some work. There are some things, for instance, the euro sign. I can never remember where to get to. So being able to quickly press the uh, function key twice and saying euro sign. Let's try that. How about that? Euro sign. Euro sign. That's nice. That's handy, right? Um, there's mathematical symbols. There's... Uh, the shortcuts for copyright sign and registered sign and trademark sign. It isn't perfect. There are better voice dictation programs out there that might do a better job, but also cost a lot of money. The fact that this is built in, I think, is pretty cool. Um, and I guess maybe if I practiced, I could do a better job. Let's try this. Double function key. All caps on. I am so angry at you. I am going to type in caps from now on. Period. Hey, it worked. Large center dot. Large center dot. <laughs> this does not work well, does it? I'm sorry I even brought it up. Hashtag, why don't you understand what I'm saying? That was kind of cool. Notice it knew that the following phrase was going to be a hashtag, so it didn't put any spaces in. I would very much want you to check your tweets if you dictate them before you post them, but I think it's kind of cool that you can do that. Uh, go to the uh, Apple site uh, where they describe all of the things you can do. Maybe with a little practice, you'll do a better job than I uh, do, but at least the dictation is in there. And what I find is it does work fine if you're just dictating prose. Don't expect to be able to just you know ship it out that way, to tweet it out or post it on Facebook that way. You'll probably have to do some editing. It does save you a lot of typing, though. So... Function, function, by default, go into the keyboard settings in your uh, system preferences to turn it on or off, uh, and you can even change the assignment key. And Apple has a pretty good document describing all the things that, in theory, voice dictation can do. In practice, eh, not so much. Our show today brought to you by LastPass. Oh, it's always important to have a plan for the unexpected. LastPass can be deployed quickly in the midst of any event to ensure your business keeps running smoothly and every employee login is secure. Single sign-on manages employee access in a centralized view, so IT always has insight into who has access to what from where. LastPass protects while providing a seamless workflow for your employees. Go to lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit.
Well, that's how you talk to your Mac, and most of the time get it to type what you want. Next week, I'm going to show you how you can get your Mac to read to you. Thanks for joining me. I'm Leo Laporte. I'll see you next Friday. Be sure to check out the other shows on the network, like my other show, Hands On Wellness. I love to share different tips and tricks that's going to help you get a better grasp on your personal wellness. Just go to twit.tv slash how and subscribe now.